Grand Rapids, Michigan. In automotive terms, the 2017 Chevrolet Traverse is archaic, the last vestige of a pre-bankruptcy GM rowling through our streets, displaced in time the Traverse, along with the other GM Lambda platform models, debuted before Obama was elected to office before the crossover craze hit its fever pitch before the price of oil skyrocketed and subsequently tanked before things like active safety and connectivity became marketing headliners these rolling testaments to plastic and mediocrity felt every bit their age the all-new 2018 Chevrolet Traverse changes that it's still big Nearly every single dimension is the same as before only the wheelbase, up 2 inches, is significantly different the styling is far more masculine put kindly, the old Traverse was outmoded this new one is handsome, if not pretty it follows all the same design trends as the rest of the Chevy lineup from most angles, it looks like a beefed up Equinox, with a similar face and profile both have a large split grille that avoids the catfish-like appearance of the Malibu, though the Traverse is far more butch and upright than the Equinox it's intentionally reminiscent of the Tahoe and Suburban. The interior is typical GM, and I don't mean that in a good way the styling uses soft, organic shapes that looks awkward and bulky materials range from piano black to textured plastic to soft leather, leading to little cohesion the standard leather in my test car was fine, but the brown stitching on the otherwise black and grey interior felt completely out of place it was as if. At the last minute, they decided a sea of darkness needed some sort of contrast the top tier high country trim uses better leather and suede inserts, but the general shape remains. The gauges look cheap, and most surfaces you touch are, are either hard plastic or low grade rubber still. The general layout of the buttons is fine and there are plenty of storage bins and charging ports each row packs at least two USB ports with a few 12 volt outlets sprinkled throughout the cabin there are plenty of cup holders and cargo bins for various devices, including a slender slot on the passenger side of the center console that's large enough to hold an iPad or other tablet. 